And finally on this question is sad al darai or blocking the means or blocking the means that is if it we feel that uh, if we feel that some evil is going to take place islam teaches us usul al fiqh teaches us uh, fiqh teaches us that this must be blocked for example in quran says that don't give don't abuse the idols of the mushrikun don't abuse the idols of the mushrikun la tasubbu don't abuse now why allah says otherwise they will they will abuse allah subhanahu wa taala so to protect this misdoing of mis mis uh, demeanor of uh, abusing the allah subhanahu wa taala allah has said don't abuse them so this is called blocking the means this is the basis of the this uh, so ulama says that when something is going something is sure to lead to sure lead to an uh, say bad result a bad thing then this must be blocked but i must say that uh, this must be used, used very carefully otherwise freedom will be disturbed you i mean you human freedom should not be restricted uh, by caprices there must be a not good reason to probe that yes this will lead to an abuse only then sadam darai will be used i think uh, the time is uh, very short now so i directly finish in 3 4 3 4 um, say uh, 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 i must discuss that is hukm al sharih hukm al sharih means the demand of the lawgiver hukm al sharih means uh, that uh, demand of the lawgiver that uh, the and hukm al sharih is the communication by the lawgiver that allah the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam concerning the conduct of mukallaf that is an adult person adult same person and the option may be in the form of a demand or an option i again say hukm e shari means actually the values of the hukum hukm e shari means actually value of the hukum is the hukum obligatory or is the hukum recommended is the hukum prohibition or it is just karaha that is not liked so this is important and that uh, that is decided Uh, by uh, if the if the if the hukum is based on katiu sabu that is text and katiu dalala that is the um, definitive katiu dalala mean meaning then it it establishes wajib or farz that is obligatory when the text is uh, text is kati for example quran and the meaning is also kati then it establishes uh, say a demand an obligation but if it is not so then it uh, it creates uh, it's an option then uh, it is called mandub the act action is act is recommended so the hukm e shari means determining the value of the hukum value of the hukum of allah subhanahu wa taala of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam whether it is obligatory or not so i have said what is obligatory and i have said that uh, uh, what is mandub or recommended now mandub and recommended are is divided into two parts sunnat al muakkada sunnat ghair al muakkada now sunnat al ghair al muakkada is that if you don't do that you are, you cannot be blamed or you cannot be uh, uh, you cannot be blamed and you cannot be also punished and uh, sunnat al and if it is sunnat al muakkada then you can blame him but not punish him so difference is this is blaming if somebody does not perform sunnat al ghair al muakkada you cannot punish him you cannot blame him but it is um, sunnat al muakkada then you cannot punish him but you can blame him that you are not doing a thing which allah has said or allah prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said so i think uh, i have i will not discuss further about hukm e shari and uh, or the and this i leave to the uh, audience to study from any textbook and last one is tarud i must explain tarud means contradiction now what is contradiction if one if one if one evidence is uh, i mean if the i mean if the two evidence is rather two evidence are equal in strength are equal in strength and contradictory only then we call it tarud or conflict or conflict of evidence but really there are very few such thing or almost none the contradiction is between the strong and the weak 
then we, we go for strong, reject or not act on the weak. So, uh, I would again say there are rules of preferences. There are rules of preferences. So, I would again um, say to the, um, the, to the audience, they should uh, refer to a textbook and uh, they should also, I have not discussed Amor and Nahi, they should uh, study it, Amor means command, and the principal uh, thing about command or Amor is that if, it, if something is said by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, in, in command, say, command, in Amr, then it is, the primary thing is it is obligatory, unless there is proof that it is not obligatory. Similarly, prohibition, the primary thing is, primary thing is, uh, I mean, in, in, in Nahi, in Nahi, Allah says, no, la taqturu, don't kill. So this is Nahi. If the Nahi, the primary is, it is prohibited, unless you can prove that it is not prohibited. So this is about Amor and Nahi, and uh, the uh, Nas means uh, obli um, obliteration, or Nas means abrogation. A group of scholars say there is no abrogation in the Quran and Sunnah, but others say that there is some obligation in the Quran and Sunnah. I would say, Shakil, then your dear audience, respected audience, that uh, it is a tough subject. I have tried to finish it in about 60 minutes, and uh, its, absor it's uh, absorption is quite tough. And uh, I really had to study 20 years, as you said, and uh, gone through this uh, textbook maybe 30, 40 times to absorb it. So, I would also request the audience that uh, they should go to the textbook. This, this is a great subject, this is a very, very important subject. Without understanding the subject, you cannot understand Islamic law. You cannot understand the Quran and the Sunnah in reality. And you gave, will remain, we will remain con confused. And we will make those things halal which are really haram. Or those things haram which are really halal. So this is very, very important. Now, Shakil Abdullah, um, you have uh, taken a lot of trouble, and it is you and Ati who inspired me to take this program. And it is, I must also thank um, Saifullah Mansoor and, the, and his team, whole team, uh, who helped uh, uh, you and also me to uh, do this program. So I thank you very much. Thank you also. Uh, you have uh, come here and uh, discussed on a very uh, important and uh, difficult topic. Uh, I feel and hope that uh, audience has understood it. Uh, thank you very much. I thank you again and I thank uh, respected audience that uh, to bear with me. I'm not a good speaker. Uh, maybe I have not faltered here and there. And I, I ask, seek forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And thank you again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.